Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' check it, check it, check it? It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. You done know? Hey man, hey man, say man, look out, man. Hey man, my boy here, man. Today, King, King, B, G boy, G boy. King G boy. I knew you was gonna mess it up. I didn't I expect you to put me on the spot like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all talk that talk to this phone. When it come on, when it's going down, it's a lot of people getting nervous, man, when they get on this mic. What's up, man? King G Boy in the building. Chilling, chill. Who yeah. gave you that name? Well, I grew up with G Boy. And then when I got down when I was young, uh, with with the crew and shit, um, I actually be, uh, got down with King, so I ended up becoming King G Boy. Hmm. So, King G and G boy. is G is the beginning of your government name. Well, they actually like every time I would get into trouble, like they would take me to the office and mm-hmm. they pick me up and then they just tell me, "Oh, he he a good boy. He ain't he ain't doing nothing wrong." But because <laughs> I was always self, I was always I was always fighting, so they that's what they taught me. You know, oh, okay. stand up for myself. So I did what I did. They told me to fight. I fought. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, do you think that uh, you, you from San Antonio? Yeah, and and you, and you 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 on Boss Talk One Hundred and One now? Yeah, I don't know what they do in San Antonio, but down here, oh, we expect them bars, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, shit. So y'all be rapping up there? Yeah, yeah I'll I be doing everything over here in the town actually. You, you know where I be going to the uh, River Walk? Ain't that what they call it down there? Yeah, <laughs> right. That's like, a tourist area. Yeah, yeah. That's what, I'm a tourist. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't be down there. Like hanging out, uh, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't be out there hanging out doing doing things. I I be uh, I be basically uh, doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? As far as uh, well, you know, I'm a tourist. Yeah. I'm not I'm not down okay, there. Okay, but everywhere you go, you always like to do whatever the locals do. You don't know. No, no, not necessarily. Let me tell you, when we travel, yeah. he'll say, "Okay, I want to see the downtown, but I also want to see the hood." Yeah. So and I wanna when I go to the hood, I'm gonna ask where's the best place to eat because they always know where the best place That's is to eat. That's real talk. Now I do say that. That's yeah. So for locals, what's the best thing to see and do in San Antonio? Man, the best thing to do in San Antonio, like if you're a tourist, not man, for tourists. Not for tourists. Not for tourists, because you know, like, tourists it, who come in town, I want to feel like they're local. Okay, so basically, um, just. I would say just drive around and see what you like because there's a lot of different varieties in my city. Like, literally, I can get to one side, I could get to one side of town in 10 minutes. That small? Like, like that. Like, I, I can get to. It ain't really that small. He know all the back streets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga know all the back streets. Ain't nobody. I'm not crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the back streets, so I jump on the highway. Them yeah. little three lanes they got running all up toward Austin and all that. And I'm going to be real with you. I'm all day on the thing because they got a traffic jam. Well, this guy's in the, in the inner city switching, going down back roads, and he getting where he need to be. Yeah. <laughs> got to, got to, man. Because I, I want to get to point A to point B. I ain't, I ain't trying to be waiting for nobody. Already, man, and I, I don't blame you, man. Because at the end of the day, I used to ride all the back streets when I was selling dope. I get it. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? That's what I did. I ain't never go on the front street. I, I ride all the back streets. I'm just gonna be real with you. That, so, so, so you said that um, you always just get in trouble. You used to fight, but yeah. when did you? Were you rapping during that time? Um. I used to just do it out of freestyling when I was younger. Mm-hmm. So when I did that, like, I was, like, going back to when I was getting in trouble, like, I, I got down when I was 12. Mm. So, I like, I didn't stop until, like, my son was born. So. How old? What, when? How old were you? 13. His son was born at 13. He, 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 he how old were you when you had your first child? They don't play. Um. Man, I've been, I've been trying to have kids. I, I had, I, I, I had, I don't even know if I have other kids or there somewhere else. He's like, how old was you, 15? Uh, nah, I, I, I've been, I've been trying to have kids since I was like 13 years old. That's what I, I was saying. I what? told you, shout yeah. out to them boys at the beginning at 13. Yeah. I told you. At 13. Yeah, I was, That's I, I was a whole trying to have. responsibility. Uh, uh, Why? Well, because like growing up, I didn't have my mom and my dad. 
my the concrete was my So he gonna create family. his own damn family. So, the street was you know my family. <laughs> the hood was my family. So you wanted to provide for some kids and like, all that. Like because it was it because you know some people want to have kids because they want to have that unconditional love from. Actually, like um, I wanted to know what it was like to have a family. Okay. Because I didn't have one. So where were your parents? Well, when I was born, they signed the rights off. So wow. Just that's, when you were just born, are you the first child? I'm the first son, the only son, and then that. And they pa- signed my, their rights away. My parents divorced. And then my my pops went off and did his thing, and my mom's went off and did her thing. And how old were you at the time when they did this? Oh man, um, I went through the court system through like until I was like ten, and wow. then by the time I was seventeen, I caught my um, first felony charge. Wow. So did you ever go looking for your parents? No, I I know where they at. You knew, it just you knew. it just I just like like my my mom she she started coming back into my life because of my kids. Mm-hmm. But like you rarely see my kids. Like one of my kids, my kids, I have four kids, so my four kids are actually on one of my album covers. Mm-hmm. So, like, but you won't see their face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't allow that. Right. So you know, um, but like my pops, like he used to be a bodybuilder, so I used to bodybuild back then too. Mm-hmm. But um, he did his own thing, and he had his own. I just left him alone. I ain't trying to. Because you know how some some kids be like, okay, why? Why did you abandon me? Why did you didn't feel that need for to know why? No. Um, I know at, men and women are different. Like no. at, at one point, I was like, you know, what did I do wrong? Right. But I was like, you know what? At the end of the day, I I did me. They missed out. Let's so do real. you think that that um, because of that upbringing or? The situations that you went through is why you eventually got in trouble and you were on the streets and stuff like that? Um, Basically, it was survival of the fittest, like, realistically. Like, growing up, I I didn't even think I was going to see 14. Mm. Like, the the life expectancy in my block was 14 years old. Wow. So, and, like, it was known for shooting police and wow. stuff like that. So And they're still doing that. Like, just recently they just showed that they shot police recently, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. But, you know, that's how it was. And my hood was predominantly black and Mexican put together. So all y'all so, going to jail. So, i can tell you that right now. So, like, a lot of my people were getting killed. I, I, like, I've seen my friends get killed, you know Killed to going to jail. Yeah, one At or the 13 other. or 14. So, you know, and. No, it's true. And but, me, and me, like I, when I when I caught the charge, I took it for a homie for on G, and then I messed up again, and I was looking at five to nine, right, nine years, right? And then ever since then, they just and just I just try to get myself out of it. So, so what do you think about okay? Because you've been in that life and you were young, and looking back now, because you're older, wiser, you know, know a lot of stuff. So when you look back and you see, because I see a lot of kids in the gun violence, gangs, and all of that, and you have some older people still be repping that they're in all of these gangs and stuff like that. Man, they need to grow up, man. But it's like they're sacrificing. <laughs> grow up with that. Grow I, up with I, that. I, I, I can still stack. I hey, can still hey, stack. hey, 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 don't do that uh, on there, man. Uh, uh, no, they, no, they, they, they do what, what, what you think about that with all these older people repping it, but then all these younger kids, you know, still... In that the structure ain't the same. Okay, we interviewed Melvin Farmer. Melvin Farmer started. He started LA. the Crips with Tukey Williams. We yeah. went out right. to L.A. If you go watch my show, you'll him. see we interviewed him. He lived in California. So, so you you know about Melvin Farmer, mm-hmm. well, and we talked about the structure because he said, "Oh no, the younger kids." Back then, couldn't say or do something without, you know, without proper authority. Proper mm-hmm. authority, but nowadays, anybody and everybody well, repping whatever and doing whatever. He also, people don't know who who. Yeah, right. but he also said they they didn't have numbers. You know, they had they had revolvers. Hell, they wasn't. You know, you shoot <laughs> one person, hell, you run out of bullets. You know what I'm saying? These boys, they it was different. Now these boys got these uh, Dracos, and but, but yeah, it, it's a different but, world now. These boys. But we, 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 we grew up on everybody a, going. We grew up on a on a on a loyalty and respect system. Right. Like yeah, but that, y'all that, guns weren't that, that big though. No, wasn't. no. Back then, it, we no. Used y'all to, had the moves. No, I, I got I got you, I got stabbed once. You had the moves, didn't you? Huh? You had the moves. I don't know, but they were. <laughs> 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 you niggas are turning everything up. 
Boy, you know that that's it's sad because a lot of them can't shoot. That's how a lot of people hey, get hey, victimized, hey, if, man. If, if if you have to use more than one, then you suck. Bro, but that's why in that shooting in Dallas recently, you had three people got injured, but he went after can't shoot? he went over that one kid because that's who was mm. bullying him. And he Although shoot. that kid got shot four times. Yeah. And you know what him. I mean? But he you still had all the bystanders who got hit. Yeah. Because and you know, at first they said it was a mass shooting, but it really wasn't after they got to the nitty gritty of everything. Why don't you mm-hmm. let that thing go? Hey, I'm going to hey, be real with you. Well, 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 once that, once, your, once, your, once, your fin- once your finger go, hey, you know what? You, you better accept the consequences that come behind that. But you that. know what, man? I'm gonna don't be, think about I'm it. I'm going to be real all. with you, y'all. I, I think it's up to us. You know, all, all I've been cutting up, but all, all jokes to the side. We got to do something to spring forth a unity and build up our youth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I, you know, I've been there. I get it, you know. But at the end of the day, man, we got to do something to change the narrative. So when you get older, uh, the Bible said when I was a child, I, I thought as a child. child. I did some childish things. But when I became a man, I put those childish things away. So you have to be willing to change, and, and, and you have to be transparent. You have to mm-hmm. in order to, to, to see forth the next generation and not be a wall but be a bridge. So they extend mm-hmm. that. Uh, don't talk about them. Talk to them. And, I, and, they, and they people. These yeah. youngsters are people, too. Especially when I feel like God put us through certain situations. Like to, you've to been help, through to help. all of those situations before. So you're able to go back to the hood or to certain people. Or the kids that don't or have. Or the kids who don't have, you know, parents yeah. or so forth. And say, you know, I was that kid. I was you. You're the only one can You know what to. I mean? Because, mm-hmm. and tell them stories or, you know, whatever. And say, you know. You have other ways. You don't have to go down this path. And I actually, um, when I found out I was going to be a father, um, I actually put myself in a father program. And I actually became a mentor. And um, I actually got a certificate um, of my completion to teach fathers financial aid. Oh, That's so awesome. I teach my kids the same way. So they actually into the music. So they doing this stuff with the music, making beats and doing all that. So they actually doing music too. That's but dope. the thing with the music, okay, because to okay, since we've been interviewing a lot of rappers and so forth, the thing with the music is that like music, sex, and guns go hand. Rap, sex, and guns, I should yeah. say, go hand in hand. And it seemed like a lot of rappers are into the still. Some of them portraying to be. You know, the violent, the gunslingers, the gangsters, whatever. So it's the same thing. You're going into that. But they, but they, they, they doing it on on social media. Back then, it, it wasn't none of that. We, you know what I'm saying? Like, But it can be just as dangerous because it can cause like like like, like like they're beefing over 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 a comment. Like not not something worth something. Like I would understand, like oh he he got me for money, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, or mm-hmm. something of that nature, or harm my family or something. But when when you're saying like oh I, I went after him for a comment, man, it's a comment. But words are powerful. That's the reason why people even do music. But because but you gotta be smart. You gotta be smarter as 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 a, as an individual. Mm-hmm. You, you are, are you smarter? Are you smarter than that person? Because if you're gonna stoop down to that level, that's where they want you. Right. I ain't trying to stoop down. I'm going up. I ain't, you can stay down there. I'm going up. Dope, dope, dope. But tell us, get, let's get, get a little bit into your music. Oh, I want to do. Let me see. Can I say something? Bro? <laughs> you know, since you're running the whole interview, you know, I, I'm over here going to sleep almost because, uh, hell, I want to say something. I want to get in there. Okay, baby, you can go. All ahead. right, let me rock him out right quick. Let's talk about the music. Let me go for it. <laughs> let's, let, let, let's, how did you, when did you think you, you, you got serious about the music? Um, How old were you? So, I would do the shows um, back in the day. The label was actually a family label. Okay. And then um, after that, like things started going like sketchy and stuff like that. So the person that was actually with my relative that started the label all together didn't like the fact that I freestyled, mm. and it took him longer to write. So he didn't want me on there. And basically, in a sense, like, I, like they tried to kick me off, but I wasn't kicked off. They're scared of your talent. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? It's fine. You you want to push me to the dogs? Now I'm going to go back to the streets. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to eat. I got to make money. I don't got time for all this wishy-washy. Like, I used to go do, oh, in Comanche Park and go do freestyles, and they would pay me, like, $500. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Back then, $500 was, was a, a lot. lot of money. <laughs> but, you know, 
I didn't get too serious until my sons heard me freestyle, and my sons are actually the ones that pushed me back into it. Wow! And that was like 2018. And so how I old rebound- are your sons at that time? Um, my first son, he was four. Oh, okay. And they liked it. No, um, my my youngest one was four, and my oldest one, he he's. 12 now so i think he was about like seven so when you told me to get back into it wow let me let me get can you. any me, of them uh, can any of them do music yeah actually they do uh one both of them do beats um they actually part of uh they're, they're doing the stuff with the second generation uh uh screwed up children mm-hmm. so they're part, they're gonna be part of that too oh, okay so you know let me drive this beat man let me drive this beat because you're doing all that talking <laughs> Let's see if he, can sta- if he can stand up to it. Let's see. Let's go. You know I'm here. You know I just sit over here in my own little zone. Since y'all ain't gonna let me talk, I'm just gonna rank on folks, act a fool on the interview, interrupt people, all that. That's what go I'm for doing it. today. Just go for but it. I, I, I definitely think that uh, uh, you gotta be quick with it to freestyle like that. Yeah. You know, or, or just even come up with something that's clever enough to keep people's attention. Yeah, it mm-hmm. gotta make sense. You know, that, that's the whole game with the. You still, I think so she's nervous. So when you freestyle, way. you do a lot of, uh, she's nervous. Ah, all of that. Nah, that nigga gonna come down, nigga. That nigga, that nigga because nigga. a lot of people who freestyle yeah. because they can't think of the words to put with this and whatever they're writing to be. <laughs> you always hating. I'm not hating. You, that's a hating mood. Uh, uh, no, nah, that nigga finna come <laughs> with it, nigga. Oh. Nigga. Uh. Hey. Yeah, hold up. Yeah. 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 Up on the block, never stop. Used to be over here ripping walks. Y'all already know my name. I've been doing this, man, since an early age. Back in the game, I used to be on the block, posted up with the pose. Y'all already know I'm kicking in your dough if you want to talk shit. But I'm going to show you, homie, that I ain't no trick. So keep it 100, never fake. I never, ever stayed in my lane, but I over here getting in the game. So I had to go ahead and stack that cheddar You better watch out homie cause I got a Beretta Man I aim for the cranium, I leave you brainless Go ahead homie, man I keep that stainless So if you wanna test, go ahead and ask about me Check my jacket cause I got a long rap sheet So if you want to see who I be I'm King G-Boy out of Sweatshop Records, what you mean? Hey, hold up, like hold that. up you know what I'm saying? That was good. If I was gonna rap it, it'd be like, let's bring that thing back. Uh. <laughs> you know, I go like that when I go up. Uh. That up. Yeah, that's just getting y'all ready for it. Uh. Yeah, then I start grooving. Yeah, but then I don't go because I don't want to mess that <laughs> thing up. You know what I'm talking about? But I groove with you, though. Know? You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> no, yeah. man, I definitely, uh, I love the, I love the hip hop culture, man. Um, Anything to do with hip hop, man, and our youngsters and the way that, you know, everybody talk about hip hop, but hip hop saved a lot of kids too because they was in the studio when they could have been out getting shot or shooting somebody. So I I love the fact that, you know what I mean, that hip hop really, it cultivates our culture. You know what I mean? So so people, they look at it on the negative side, but there's a positive side as well because those kids, like I say, a lot of nights are in those studios. They might be smoking their weed. You niggas getting high, I get it. But at least they ain't out here doing nothing, you know, crazy. Yeah. So uh, what you think? You think I'm right? Like straight up on the cools, like if you're just chilling with your with with, I would say if you're gonna do something, do it at your own crib where you know you safe and you feel good. You know what I'm saying? If you're with your peoples, just remember, like you could always be a casualty. Already. You know Already. what I'm saying? And you know. That's why I'm glad I'm doing what I'm doing with the music, cause due to the fact that, you know, now I have my e- I have an EP out that I put out in uh, 2019. That's dope. What's the name and, of it? Uh, Tales from the Ghetto. Tales from the Ghetto. Yeah, yeah so I, that's I, 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 You got a hook for me on that thing? No, nah, I, I don't have a hook on that. No, no, me. I, oh, I want to get on. You want to get on thing. it? I'm actually gonna do a remix on it. I got you. I, I ain't never did one. Oh, you never did one? No, but oh. I'm this going to be, I'm going to break, I'm a breakout artist. Oh, okay. <laughs> this going to be my, what you Late think? Late in your career. Yeah, I, I'm kind of old. I, I you got think a, I can do it? 
Yeah, you can do it. Okay, that's all I need to know. A little confidence. He baby. does have a voice. Like, like on that no, one. I got a voice. You got a voice, oh, baby. Like yeah. on that on that on that EP when I put that one out, it was just to let everybody know, like, yo, I'm coming back. Sweatshop Records is coming back. I revamped the whole label. I did the whole revamp the whole design. It's Houston and San Antonio put together. I see Houston and San Antonio put you together. Know? So like That's cool. Basically like when I put that EP out, I had a uh, young Bill Rap Sumo and uh he has uh the radio station um ninety point one KPFT and my music was playing over here in H Town, then in my city. Mm. So then I have another project coming out called The Parts of Life. Mm-hmm. And um, I have Pimp C on there. I got... Um, what? Yeah. Stop. Right there. Don't say nothing else. What did you say? Pimp C. What? Mm. Listen, man. That's all you have to do. Man, me and you, we best friends. Now, I'm coming down to San Antonio. I'm rocking with you. I'm going to get your number after this. So when I come down there, I'm going to rock with your whole team. You know what I'm saying? He's the I, biggest Yeah, Pimp yeah. You just fanatic. said, don't worry about that part. Well, you saw me with my shirt. Yeah. Oh, really? I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? Now the interview can start. Hell, I yeah. don't know what else we talked about earlier. Yeah, and like like the upcoming features that I have also is um, Rashid from Dope House, 21st Century, and um, Carolyn Rodriguez, and I have Bone the Mac, Little Flip and I both freestyled on that track. For real? And I have SPM from Prison. Wow. Dang, wow, that's dope. Man, I can't wait to hear it. And, and when is it coming out? Um, I'm actually going to be performing some of the tracks before I actually release the album. And then I also have, I'm actually completed with that album. Harvey Love is actually remixing and mastering it again because um, I didn't like the way the other engineer and producer did it because he did bad business. So I just go ahead and hit Harvey Love up. Then I have a project with Ronnie Spencer. So me Shout out to the legendary run. Don't say it, but I say legendary man. Hey man, it's going down, man. Ronnie Spencer. So was the what, what was that like working with Ronnie? Well, I'm still working with Ronnie. Y'all still yeah. trying to rock it out? Yeah, we still here doing things. You hey, know what I'm saying? That's dope. And I I rather take my time and patience. You know what I'm saying? Because I know where I'm gonna get at. You know, and people people just want to hop onto it. And you know what I'm saying? Like. You just can't just jump into it. You're and romantic just, with your music. Oh, yeah, like dang! I, like I'm, I'm real passionate because at the end of the day, I'm, it's, it's not for me. Ain't nothing it, wrong it's, with it's it, bro. For, it's for my kids. Already, I want to leave a legacy back so they can understand. Like, hey, my, my dad actually gave a shit about me. Right. Because you know what I'm saying. Like, nobody ever left me none. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Like, I actually had, I had over eight. Eight to ten chains. I had eight rings, all diamonds, everything. I had my grills, everything. Uh, my grill I had got from Johnny. And then uh, all my other jewelry I had got. And then I was like, my boys asked me, they were like, you know what? You We didn't know you rap. And I was like, yeah. And I would do freestyle, just random freestyles off of beats. And after that, I was like, you want me to get into music? And they said, yeah. And I asked them one more time. That was it. Cause I don't ask no more than than twice. If I've asked that you three times, then it ain't for it. So I asked them twice, and they were like, "Yeah, we want you. We want you to get back into music." All right, I sold all my jewelry. Dang! And I revamped my whole label. Wow, that's I did, love. I did it for my kids. And that's then, dope. And then my daughters actually, um, I I actually give back to the community too. So um, I give back to. The people who never who didn't have anything, because I know what it's like to not have none. Me and you both, you know, and like also too, like my daughters, they're they're growing up with the music, so you know that that's even more better because they like to they like to sing and they like to listen to other artists and stuff like that. So I keep the genre open. So I I like I like them to listen to country, rap, right, you know, right. everything. Like man, even the stuff I did with Bushwick. You know, uh, hey, you got stuff with Bushwick. Yeah, yeah, that boy dropping them plugs. Y'all don't know nothing about it. Bushwick, the late great baby, the ghetto boys. Yeah, stop playing, Bushwick, man. man. For real, for real, like man, like I'm a Texas hardhead, man. I, I, I was, love this. I was with him. I was with him in the hospital. Wow. You know, shout out to Young No, his son. Man, wow. he's killing it in the game, like for real, for real. Really? 
Yeah, young no. He, he he live in Houston. He in Houston. Yeah, I got to link up with him. Yeah, he man, he dropping cold, cold <laughs> fire for real, for real. Already, you man. Know? And then uh, free young pimp to <laughs> young pimp is free, baby. Hey, for real, man, for real, shout man. out to that boy. Me, you, yeah, you gave me. I want that new address. I'm about to write that boy. Boss talk one oh one. We want him as soon as he come home. We yeah. want him on the show, man. Real talk. Yeah. Yeah, so top three artists of all time, dead or alive. I know you've been listening, so you should have already had the top yeah, three. Yeah, my well, my number top, one. My, my my number one, my number one, and because this is how I grew Don't up. Don't say it, is, man. Is, 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 the first one was SPM, SPM, but then my actual, my main main like star star. Don't say is, it, man. It's pimp. Don't say it, man. It's pimp. Don't say and, it, man. And, I think you heard that. No, no, nah, nah, don't nah, say it, man. It, it, I'm for the cry, man. It's pimp. Jeez, it's I'm pimp, eyes, man. It's pimp. It's SPM and Big L. Big L, yeah, yeah. Who's Big L? Big, Big L He's from New York. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. But it, but yeah. it be he pimp first. What so. song? And then, and then and then also too like. I actually have one more and it's no, boo it's you can't boo I, do one more. I, I, no, I got you. I got you. No, no, no. I got you. 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 I got Oh, okay. You want to stop this interview? That's the quickest <laughs> way to stop this dang interview, man. So check it, man. So um, how can people get a hold to you? Man, you can find me on Instagram at KingGBoy666. Um, you can find me on Facebook at KingGBoy. Uh, and when you see my Facebook, you'll see my Snapchat. You'll see everything that's on there. You can click on it. And um, you'll see everything I've been doing, everybody I've been working with. You know, um, I also have features lined up for my next projects. Oh, you know, man. so I have um, Small Boy. Okay. If y'all heard Small Boy, he's the one that did stuff with Big Hawk. Okay. And then, um, you know, I also, I also did a track with D1. Already. D1 The Chosen. You know, shout out to D1 The Chosen. Um, I also have uh, Pillar. You know, um, he's with uh, Clover G's with Flip. Yeah. So he's he's another artist that I'm going to uh, be actually doing a track with. Um I had to see uh, Brick Wolf, got Lil Mexico. Um, I got a whole list. I have them actually. I put all my artists, all my features in order, you know, so I know who I'm going to be working with, you uh, know. Already. Well, um, okay. So um, one thing I want to say is I appreciate you for coming on Boss Talk 101, man. I appreciate y'all having me. We love you, brother. And uh, at the end of the day, we're gonna we're gonna we, hey man, we're gonna come down to San Antonio. Like I said, I'm not just talking. I'm gonna get yeah. your number here in a minute. And um, like I said, we appreciate you for coming on Boss Talk 101, man. I appreciate y'all having me for, for, for. And it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. All right. And we out. Come on.